Okay, welcome back to Simple Living today. We're gonna do three teas today. Um, the three teas that I've been drinking that I absolutely love that have different benefits. Um, and the first tea that we're gonna do is rose tea. Uh, with rose nectar and I don't have it committed to memory so I didn't want to miss a beat on this so I just wanted to tell you a couple of things that the rose tea is good for it's rose tea buds and I'll leave everything in the description that I use today so in case you want to go ahead and get you some I'll leave it there okay the rose tea may help prevent urinary tract infections it removes toxins from your body it boosts your immunity system it which uh, helps you lose weight um, in, a, in a healthy way you know so <laughs> not starving yourself but drinking some healthy tea um, it's essential for you to be free of illness and rose tea may help fight infections due to the high vitamin C and the rose nectar guards your skin, so against free radicals. So I uh, add a capful of the rose nectar. It just, I can't even tell you, it just elevates the rose tea to a level that, that I've never tasted before. It is incredible. Um, you can add the rose nectar to your coffee, um, to smoothies. However, you can just take a little capful and drink it. Um, but it helps your skin, so it helps with that aging and just free radicals that attack our skin every single day. So that's the first tea that we're gonna make today, and oh my gosh, y'all. Normally, you know, I always save the favorite for last, but today I'm starting with my favorite. The rose tea, well, I can't say that. <laughs> They're all my favorite. Um, it depends on if I'm in the mood to drink rose uh, buds. <laughs> so I love the butterfly pea tea, and, and it's not, P, it's P-E-A, <laughs> so it kind of sounds gross at first, but it's Butterfly P-T, and it's really a known well in um, like Thailand. It's just a, it's a beautiful tea as well. And then we're gonna end with our um, dandelion tea, which is fantastic from leasing, re leasing, <laughs> leasing, <laughs> it's fantastic for releasing like uh, water retention in your body. Dandelion tea is good for that and many others. So I'll explain each one as I go, but for the rose tea, I just told you all about it. So let's get in the kitchen and start brewing up some tea. And then you don't wanna miss something I'm gonna add to this video that is just a little something extra because we're talking about all healthy, but sometimes you just need to have something a little bit unhealthy with your healthy tea. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, here we are in the kitchen and here's the rose tea. If you hear that, that's the water in the background finishing preparing itself to be poured over my rosebud tea. I mean, I want y'all to look at this. It's incredible. I mean, seriously. Rosebud tea, Bargarian roses, I believe. They're different than just your regular roses, so don't go out and pick a rose and throw it in a tea glass. <laughs> this is different. All right, so I have this little nifty spoon and I just open it up and I put four tea buds, I mean four tea buds, <laughs> four rose buds in there and six if you really want to up the ante on the rose flavor, but I'm also putting in this rose nectar. So I'm gonna put a cap full of that in. Oh my gosh, y'all, seriously. This is amazing. You wouldn't think drinking roses would be so good, but it is actually fantastic. All right, and then I always put a little bit of agave. I get this at Costco, agave, but you can use monk fruit, sugar. You can use, well, I don't use honey, but you can use honey. Um, you can use coconut sugar, you can use whatever. You don't have to use any sweetener. So then you just pour this over. Let your spoon sit in there and steep. You can do this in a teapot too if you're making more than one cup, but it's just me today, so I'm just making one cup of my rosebud tea. So this is this little spoon is nifty to just make a, one cup at a time. And since I drink three different teas daily if I can. Um, oh, and then I drink matcha tea. So I guess I drink four teas, <laughs> four teas a day. Um, but they each have different benefits. 
Uh, the butterfly PT that I'm going to be doing next. Oh my gosh, y'all! It uh, it's it's like a really deep blue tea. It's just a beautiful tea. All right, so you let this steep for like four or five minutes, and then you just enjoy it. It is fantastic. And I will be right back, and we will make. Oh, that's my dog playing with a toy. <laughs> we will be right back to make butterfly PT. In just a minute. Hey y'all, <laughs> let's talk about butterfly uh, PT, P-E-A-T, and the benefits of it. It is an extraordinary tea, but it's it's a lot of information. So I just plugged it in on my phone, and so I'd let you know. Now, I've read over it, and I know the benefits, but I haven't committed it all to memory. I just know enough now that it's good for me, and I want to drink it. Okay, so here's just the top 10. It's an anti-aging tea, and I, you know, do your own research. So I'm giving you the name of it. Google it. Find out your own research. See if this is something you want to incorporate into your everyday living, because I'm just sharing it because I love it. I feel good drinking it. I feel uh, energized and I feel like I'm doing something a little extra for my health. Okay, the second benefit is is an anti-inflammatory, which is amazing. Um, the third one is a boost, it boosts your immune system. So, you know, who couldn't use a little bit of a, a booster to our immune system? <laughs> I could keep skin clear and glowing. That's the fourth one. The fifth one boosts metabolism. Okay, <laughs> as you age, your metabolism seems to go into a coma. <laughs> so, I think this boost metabolism is probably why I'm drinking it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm drinking it for all these health benefits. Number six, it redu reduces disease causing fat. So that's a, that's a, and, and, and this has definitions and, and uh, explains more. If you look it up yourself, you can go in detail. I just didn't want to take that time up today. I just want to give you the highlights. Number seven, it reduces stress and anxiety. How many of you are experiencing a little stress and anxiety here in the last four months? Um, and number eight, lowers high blood pressure. So if you're struggling with your high, this is a natural way to lower your high blood pressure. Nine, it fights insomnia. I don't have a problem sleeping at all. <laughs> what time it's time to go to bed, I am darn well tired and ready to do it. <laughs> and number 10, helps regulate blood sugar. And those are the top 10 reasons why I drink it. Um, so I think it's amazing for you and you're not gonna hurt yourself drinking it. So. Uh, I think the benefits are just fantastic. So that's why I drink it. So let's get in the kitchen and let's make some butterfly PT. <laughs> and it turns the most beautiful blue. You're just not going to believe it. It is amazing. All right, let's go. Okay, it's time to make our butterfly, butterfly uh, PT. And I'm telling you what, I absolutely, well, I absolutely adore all these teas. So we're going to get our butterfly tea. And again, everything will be li linked in the description box below. And I'm gonna put a good healthy teaspoon. Well, a teaspoon and a half of butter. And these, these are beautiful. I mean, they are beautiful. When you order, it comes with this little spoon, little wooden spoon, which I love. And I just put mine over in a jar because I use it so often. I just keep it here on my counter. Then I'm going to again uh, add a little bit of agave. Going to stick this little tea basket that also comes with a little lid. So you can put it on there so it can steep. I love it. So you can just drop it down in your cup like that. Pour your water over it. And you can already see that is turning blue. It's as it go as it gets uh, steeps more and more, it'll turn bluer and bluer. But I mean, I just cannot find this color in a crayon box. This is something that nature has created for us. It is just the most beautiful tea, and it tastes so good, and it's good for you. So we're gonna let that steep. And then I'm going to drink it. So I'm getting all my teas in before noon today. <laughs> all right, we'll be back to make the dandelion tea. All 
Okay, let's end this little video with our dandelion tea and the eight main reasons why I drink dandelion tea. And it is amazing, and I roast it, so it is fantastic. It's also known as dandelion coffee. So for those of you who are trying to wing yourself off coffee, I'm not one of them. <laughs> but if you are, this is a great alternative, and it's delicious. And I will show you the way to make it that makes it just fantastic. It's like very earthy tasting. So anyway, the eight benefits of it, it helps, it's good for your digestion. So those of you who struggle with digesting your food or, you know, just your food, <laughs> um, then it helps with digesting. Number two, it detoxifies the liver, which this is amazing, this is good. Um, it acts as a diuretic, reduces water weight, powerhouse of antioxidants, fights di diabetes, um, treats urinary tract infection and fights cancer. So those are the eight top reasons why I drink dandelion tea and have added it and incorporated it into my own diet. Now I, my goal is to drink these three teas every day and then I have a matcha tea as well. Um, and I've showed that on my previous video, I believe. I made three hot drinks that were just beneficial to your health as well. Um, but these three teas I try to drink daily now i may not be able to because i'm not home or whatever but it's my goal to drink them daily and uh if not daily then i at least pick one or two to drink that will uh help you know me be healthy <laughs> uh so anyway stay tuned because we are going to have not such a healthy treat but i think it'll blow your mind and you're welcome <laughs> So, and it's easy, simple. This whole channel is about simple living. So of course the treat that I'm going to make is simple. All right, thank you for uh, stopping by uh, Simple Living. I appreciate it and just watch because we're fixing to make a treat. All right, y'all, we're back here with our dandelion. Sorry for the lighting. We're back here with the dandelion tea. We have let it brew. We boiled it for, uh, we boiled it and then we turned it down and let it steep for like 45 minutes. So now we're gonna strain it. Get this out of the way. All right. And then this is when you're gonna add your splash of vanilla. Just I just eyeball it, so maybe a teaspoon. Put your vanilla. And then it calls for um, cream, heavy cream if you want, but I don't, I'm vegan, so I'm gonna use some uh, so delicious coconut whipped cream. There you have it. Nice piping hot tea. Also known as dandelion coffee. Oh my lord. I wish you could smell it. It's I can't even I don't I've never smelt anything quite like this tea. This oh my lord. It just smells like I know I say chocolate and you think, ooh, I don't want chocolate coffee or chocolate tea. I can't even explain it. You'll just have to try it. It is truly over the top. It smells so good. It tastes so good. And the benefits are amazing for you. All right, y'all. I told you we were going to sneak over here and have a very unhealthy treat. But I have discovered something that I think will blow your mind. Now, it may not. You may have already learned this. But I cannot know it and not share it. So, I have a gas stove. But if you don't, you can you can use a torch. Just a handheld torch where you, just that. I do this to roast my marshmallows over my hot cocoa. All right, but if you have a gas stove or you're outside, which this is the time to be outside, but it's raining. <laughs> so you're gonna roast your marshmallow over your stove. Now I try to do this slow but as you see, I'm not good at going slow. Maybe I'll just hold it up higher. My uh, dandy root tea is just a steeping over here. But I thought while I wait, I've made some other teas. Now you're either on the side of really dark marshmallows or lightly toasted. 
which one, put in the comments, which one do you like? Do you like yours almost burnt? Or do you like it just lightly toasted? Uh, you can guess what, how I like mine. <laughs> What's your preferred way? And if you have uh, something that you think the viewers might want to learn about what I'm showing you, like if you have a, like a little secret that you want to share with us, go right ahead. Now this is not a secret. You, you're probably thinking, what in the world? Why are you telling us? Why are you acting so, so awesome about this uh, marshmallow business? Well, that's not the secret is roasting a marshmallow. That's not the great thing that I've discovered, but I'm fixing to show you what it is. Here's the secret. Get your favorite Oreo. This is uh, caramel coconut, accidentally vegan. Open it up like you do. Don't eat it this time. Don't eat that. <laughs> Don't eat the center. Get your marshmallow. Get your topping of your cookie. And move that. Oh, look at that goodness. And you have a s'more with an Oreo cookie. Yes. You are so welcome. Any Oreo cookie will do. And then commence to eating it while you drink your while you drink your dandelion tea. You're welcome. There you have it. Three fantastic teas. Uh, butterfly pea tea, dandelion root tea, roasted, and we had our rosebud, our Bulgarian rosebud tea. And then, if you stay all, if you stayed this far, then you also seen that secret surprise to go along with your tea, <laughs> and it's not your typical butter cookie, or is it a triscuit or a biscuit? <laughs> I don't know. Triscuit is a cracker. <laughs> it's not your typical cracker, or um, you know what I'm saying, cookie. All right, this is so. It's hot. For one thing, it's so so hot. <laughs> Let me give it a little taste on camera. Ah, uh, wow. The only thing I would add to that is maybe some amaretta uh, coffee syrup. That is fantastic on its own, but I, I like my, if you haven't noticed, I like my tea with a little sugar in it. Something, not sugar, but um, agave, or you can use monk fruit sugar. So also, back in the back, coming up to make its appearance, is your butterfly PT, the beautiful, deep, blue is purple and it is again to describe the flavors of these teas besides the rose tea I mean the rose tea is taste smells like roses so that's a no-brainer but this butterfly pea tea and this dandelion tea it is hard to describe the flavor the dandelion is like a woodsy flavor and the butterfly um, pea tea it is it's just it's, they're both just original. So anyway, um, if you can try these teas, I, I pick one. If you can't drink all three, just pick one and, and add it into your diet. I promise you will not regret adding to the benefits of your health through teas. All right, uh, thank you for stopping by Simple Living today. I hope you enjoyed this little um, video. If you did, can you always forget to tell y'all to give me a thumbs up and hit like and subscribe and tap that little bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Stop it.